everyone. I'm new to YouTube, so I hope I do a good job. I hope you really like the video. For my first video, I wanted to do an unboxing. I went by Hobby Lobby today, and they had the new Big Shot Switch Plus by Sizzix. I only saw this in one color. In the research that I did, it looks like the original color is going to be white, and then Tim Holtz is coming out with a black color. This is Sorbet. So I imagine that this color is going to be specific to Hobby Lobby. So let's open it up and see what we got. So we have the plates. I did notice in some unboxing videos that these were wrapped, but this is my first time opening it. Um, but they're in good condition, so they look good. We also have some dies. There are two in this one. There's an intricate inner die, and then you have the outer frame die. Hexagon dies, and there's five of these. And then, looks like we have some flower dies, and there's 17 of these. And then, an embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. That's hearts. That will be really pretty for Valentine's Day coming up. Make some Valentine's cards. Then the instructions. We also have the power adapter. And then what we've all been waiting for. Ta-da! The machine. Let me pull this out of the way here and get this out of the box for us. Make sure I have that in the frame. I'm going to set our accessories out of the way as well. I'm excited. Are you excited? Oh, this color looks really pretty. I apologize if this plastic is making a noise really bad in the microphone. And it looks like it's got um, some plastic film all over it as well. So they packaged it really well. Got our pull down platform. We also have some storage space for dies. And then some sturdy carrying handles on each side. So it's a it's a good hefty sturdy machine. It's heavy, um, so I think it's good quality. It feels like good quality. Um, so I will get this unwrapped some more, take all the plastic film off of it. This color is gorgeous. I just love it. It does appear a little darker in the video than it actually is. In person, it's a very light coral peachy color. Um, very pretty. I like it, but it looks like it does appear darker in the video. So if you purchase this color, I think you'll really like it. So I will get this unwrapped, get all the plastic off of it and try out some of the dyes that came with it and let you know my thoughts. Okay. I'm back. I went ahead and took everything out of the packaging so that you didn't hear the rattling of the packaging as I was unloading it. I also pulled some original Sizzix dyes from my inventory just so that we could try those out as well. Um, I will start with the ones that came with the machine. I was able to get them all on one plate, so it's a very large surface. And I just pulled some scrap cardstock that I had. And per the instructions, these are framelits. So we're gonna go with the large platform the adapter 
a plate, clear cutting plate, and then I'll go ahead and establish this one as my cutting plate every time and place that one on top. We'll open this up. Uh-oh. And it takes it automatically. And if you don't want to fetch it from the other side, it does have a reverse button. But I don't want to hit that yet because I want to see how a true one pass cut is with the machine. So it cut our flowers out great. And make sure I'm in frame here. Our hexagons look really good. Those cut great. So let's see what the intricate die did. Not bad, just flicking it off. I got almost every bit of it. Let's see if you can see that. I got almost every bit of it. There are a few pieces that I'll just need to poke out, but for one pass, that was really good. And then let's check out the rest of our flowers. So we have a couple that all we have to do is just poke out. So that one is just a little stuck, but not bad. I can still poke that out. And then not bad at all. So it did a really good job. This was all 17 flowers that I cut out in this one. Um, and they're just there, they cut completely out. So that did a really good job. I'm going to switch over a little bit. I'll clean this off. I'll just put all of this to the side right now. Now I would like to try the 3D embossing folder. So for this one, we're going to get rid of one of the clear plates as well as the A adapter plate. We only need the large platform, the embossing folder, and a clear plate. And then Sizzix suggests that you lightly spray your cardstock with water. So I just put one squirt on each side, place that in the embossing folder, and then just sandwich that in between. And again, it does have a reverse button, but I would like to see what one pass does. Oh, that's really beautiful. That did a good job. And then there's the back side. So that was really nice. Next, I would like to try some of the original dies from Sizzix. And I have one of the older Stephanie Bernard um, card making dies. So we'll give that one a try. And for this one, the instructions say just to sandwich that in between two of the clear plates. And again, I've established this one as my cutting plate, so I'll place that one on top. Well, that one did so good <laughs> that it cut completely through the paper. So that was a little extra pressure more than what we needed. <laughs> so that one would need some repair. But it did cut it. I do have another one here of one of the original dies to try. So we'll do the same with that. Clear plate original die, cardstock, and then the cutting plate. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over just so that I don't start the warping process. I can try to counteract that.
And it does give you instructions for these larger dies. And that did really good. Cut every piece. Little tags. And then a little pencil. So there's one more that I would like to try. And that is the sizzlets. I don't know if anyone remembers the little sizzlet dies. I have a couple sizzlet dies here that I wanna try. And for this, you're going to use the base plate, acrylic plate, and put your, these are the ones, if anyone remembers these, the little thin ones. So I've just got a scrap here. I'm gonna try to squeeze them both in on the same piece of scrap paper. And push that through, see what we get. And again, in the instructions, it does tell you how to do the these. Do you have any of these? Everything that I've tried in it so far does come in the instructions. So it cut out the A. And then the B, capital B. So it did really good. And then there's my lowercase B that just fell out by itself. So... I would say that this is a success. I like it. I like that I can still use all my previous Sizzix products with this. So it's not just the thinlet dies. So I did purchase this myself, like I said, at Hobby Lobby today. And I'm very pleased with it. I love the color. It seems to be great pressure. I think it's gonna be a really good machine to add to my collection. I hope everyone enjoyed my video. Thanks so much, bye.